Welcome to Rory Adam Games. Let's play Civilization V RED mod. This is a total conversion mod that turns the Civilization game into a um, World War II battlefield. We are playing an historic campaign as France. This began in July of 1939. It's now June of 1940. We are currently under attack uh, from both Italy and Germany all across the front. So down here in the Mediterranean, I'm counterattacking and seizing their islands of Sardinia and Sicily. The plan here is to hinder their movement in the Mediterranean, um, deal um, heavy blows to their navy, and then to launch a limited offensive here in the north of Italy. On the German frontier, I will play defense as best I can, trying to hold back this mass of German troops. Until such time as I can take advantage of their entanglement with the Soviet Union roughly a year from now and launch my own offensive into northern Germany, secure the, uh, what is that, the Ruhr? That's the Rhineland. And knock out Cologne and Essen, deal fatal blows to their industry, and begin my drive into Berlin. But until then, I will continue to do battle with their navy and play defense on land. So let's see, speaking of navy, I can maybe go hit that, yeah I can. Go hit that destroyer, get my battleship up and ready, move the sub up a little bit, alright, give him a turn. just declared on me last turn and in somewhat shocking fashion they were not prepared uh, they were not deployed properly neither in defensive or offensive positions didn't seem like you know because I'm playing AI there's no strategic master plan here so even though they declared I kind of feel like I cut them with their pants down so it's good to be human I guess is the moral of the story all right, so we're seeing significant attacks from Germany as well as a little bit from Italy. You know, I am still playing catch up militarily with militarily with Germany. Uh, I started the game with relatively small land army, and I still trying to catch up. A uh, nice advantage I do have on them early war is that I have better tanks. So, I guess tanks. It's going to take a solid year of production to build the force <clears throat> I want and need to launch an offensive into Germany. Okay, so we've got oil. Lovely. Nearing our cap, which is good. We received a lot. Let's see, personnel. Okay, Latvia, Estonia, and Lithuania have been. Eaten by the Soviet Union. Dun, dun, dun. Doesn't make up for the loss of Leningrad, Stalin. Doesn't. Nope. Riga, Tallinn. Beautiful cities. Beautiful cities. But even combined with the rest of the Baltics, still doesn't make up for your loss of Leningrad. Okay, Hitler and Mussolini permanently allied. Mussolini then declares. Norway is still holding out. Let's check in on Norway. We haven't seen them. Oh. Oh. Not good. Oslo is gone. Uh, Narvik is gone. Oof, looks like the Brits uh, somewhat misguidedly and haphazardly are sending some units over there. You can see they're maintaining their cluster strategy of not doing anything. So let's see if I can't take out this destroyer for them. Nice. Since clearly they're unable to do their jobs, I will do it for them. Ooh, look at that. Stepped in it there. Well, hopefully this draws in, you know, what, sheesh, a dozen ships to help out? Maybe if I start the fight, they'll come finish it? I don't know. Okay, San Nazaire has finally produced a bank. I do need them to build a barracks first, though. I think I've hit my arsenal and my. So I've hit my material 
stock limit and my personnel stock limit. Uh, I would like to increase these limits, so I need to start building more things like barracks and arsenals in places like San Lazar. But at the same time, I need to start getting my submarine production, I almost said U-boat, get my submarine production going. So I'm going to start switching off between U-boats and buildings. Hmm. Yeah, let's get an arsenal in there. Okay, so let's get the designs off their plate. Start building armor. I want this baby, this super heavy. Look at that. Strength is 75. It needs uh, its own <laughs> anti aircraft escort, though. Negative 66% combat versus air units, which means it could be easily destroyed from the air. So I've got a half track in the queue. So let's go ahead and throw one of those in. I'm liking these AMRs for the time being. Uh, the B1 is a solid tank and will be throughout the war, so can't go wrong getting one of those up. Let's get another half track in there. So once Paris finishes this design, they'll start going on what will soon be our uh, invasion army. Okay, so we purchased this um, infantry armored vehicle last turn. I really don't know what to call it. So let's get it in the field. Where does it need to go? Where does it need to go? It's going to need to go right there. But let's bring it there first. Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and swap these guys out. These guys are reinforcing. Oh, that's right. I was going to send this gun here, wasn't I? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's finish off these paratroopers. They were never too effective, and now they're all dead. Oh, the value of knowing his your history. <laughs> expecting the paratrooper drop in Belgium, expecting the offensive into the Low Countries. Um, yeah, wasn't so easy back then. Belgium, Netherlands, we're just not having it. We're not allowing France to mobilize troops into their territory until it's too late. Okay, let's go ahead and attack. Three and eight, nice. Anti-aircraft gun. Okay, good, good. Everywhere else, we're doing all right. They've ceased attacks on the light tank 35s, and they're holding up attacks on the Samoa S35s. Great tank. So that's why we're sending this gun here to help it. That's right. Okay, let's up it. Okay, let's see. Let's promote some units. We've got our infantry here. Rough, rough. Yeah, rough. Okay. Fortify. Let's go ahead and counterattack out. I think we can finally take out this Panzer III. So hit it with the field gun first, and now attack with the D2 with the field gun in support. Boom, we have annihilated it. Lovely. Okay, elsewhere in the Maginot, it's quiet. Got these forts not even really under attack anymore as the weight of the German offensive shifts to their right flank, my left. See how we're doing in northern Italy. Let's continue our domination there. <laughs> I'd rather begin our domination. Huh? Okay, so first things first, let's finish the conquest of Sardinia. Hit them with naval fire. Hit them with the howitzer. And we'll go ahead and attack. 
let's secure these approaches here just in case they decide they want to reinforce. Ooh, this is a good opportunity to go blockade Rome, and that's exactly. Oh, they have a submarine protecting it. How smart. Okay, let's send this destroyer over then. Do battle with that submarine. Um, hopefully push them out in the next turn so we can get a proper blockade of Rome going. However, if they are smart, they would very quickly move out this battleship into the open. Deploy to the open seas there. Let's go ahead and hit this destroyer. See if we can kill it. Boom. All right, lovely. So that is the strategy here against Italy in the Med, is to isolate individual units, destroy them, and just basically keep the pressure up by uh, capturing islands and blockading ports until the, their navy is more or less rendered ineffective. Okay, so cool. What we can do here is send the legion in, have them garrison, get them ready to deploy to Sicily as the next part. So on that note, let's go ahead and do some scouting. Oh, man. Big battle group. Why didn't they come relieve Sardinia? Interesting. Uh, let's hit them here. Oof, big battle group. Check this out, you guys. They have got a sub, two destroyers, a heavy cruiser, two heavy cruisers just sitting off the coast of Sicily. Um, as Admiral... Akbar would say it's a trap. I definitely walked into a trap here. So the good news is um, I believe I will still be successful around Rome. Keep it blockaded, which would be nice. Hopefully they can't launch this battleship. However, over here I'm going to have to retreat more than likely. Do some hit and run tactics, repair, and start the aerial bombardment of Sicily. Um, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to push naval units there, which is going to present quite a problem. So one option I do have is um, kind of going roundabout along Africa and then in between Malta into between land somewhere in here between Catania and Palermo. Okay, we'll figure that out next turn. Okay, so for now, let's see if we can, can keep pushing. Let's do that. Okay. Those guys are heavily exposed. Um, however, um, this is great defensive terrain. If I can capture this hex here too, surround and cut off this unit, I can reduce it and have a great um, have a great defensive position here. I really could use another infantry division. However. So I think maybe that's that's what I do. I, I don't don't start bombing Genoa. Instead, send my air force to start bombing Sicily. Maybe. Let's see what does the B seventeen do? Oh yeah, that's the okay. Let's see the B twenty five. Does that have any power against units? No. Just a just a strategic city bomber. Both not just a strategic city bomber. Yeah. Okay has some power. So let's do this. Just this turn, let's, let's go ahead and bomb Juno. I'm changing my mind again. See if we can distract him. So let's send in a unit to gain a superiority. Did pretty well. Send the B25 first. Maybe to Milan. Yeah, I like that. Ooh, intercepted by Messerschmitt, nine damage. Let's not do that again. Ooh, intercepted by Messerschmitt. Five damage. Let's not do that again. <laughs> so we'll repair those on, over this turn. And begin the aerial bombardment of Sicily in the next turn. Okay, let's upgrade our field gun. Sorry, promote our field gun. Let's go ahead and attack here. Alright, so we'll keep... These guys in Mets, uh, I guess I can't get the Mets. Let's just fortify here then, leave them in reserve there. They're on the road network, it's fine. And we'll move.
Okay, let's see what Germany does. This is going to get awfully hectic for Germany. Um, it looks like I have got total command of the front. In a year from now, they'll be entangled with the Soviet Union. Yes, yes, this is going to severely stress out the AI. We'll see what happens. This is around the time that the old RED mod used to get super buggy and crash a lot, so... I think the revived mod so far is playing really well. Nice and balanced. Um, still maybe too easy, although it's probably too early to say that. Um, this next year will really be France's true test. If I survive that, if I even can make some advances in the Ardennes like I'm hoping to, um, should be in great position in 41 to invade Germany. Okay, so they're still bombing Dijon, Mulhouse. They've given up on Metz, it seems. Uh, they are throwing forces against the Maginot again. Got some G Italian attacks. One thing I do have to worry about down there in the Mediterranean is Italy reinforcing and trying to retake those islands. Um, really, you know, what that's going to come down to is a naval presence. And I just don't have that yet, so I just have to be patient. Continue to build up my forces in the Mediterranean. They are my lifeline. I have no domestic oil production. Go. Speaking of which, 400 oil. Okay, Caligar Cagliari. Is that how you say that? Cag Cagliari, not Caligari. Cagliari. Okay. Let's see. The Italians are retreating, but of course, we cannot withstand the might of the French navy. We may be outnumbered, but we are. Uh, we're we're uh, I don't know. We're not outsmarted. That's for damn sure. We know how to fight. So we know how to fight. We've been tangling with the Brits on the seas for centuries. <clears throat> not too successfully though. Okay, do I start launching these guys? I just I don't think so. I don't think I have a path to Sicily open yet. Go ahead and start the bombardment. Okay, so I can reach Catania and Palermo. I will send the B-25s against Catania. Ooh, they have a destroyer providing some air cover, not much. And send the B-17 against Palermo. All right. So, let's see, they were able to launch that battleship, unfortunately. Um, however, I'm still going to blockade your fort. Sorry, not your fort, your city, your capital, I'd rather. Let's bombard it a little bit, just for shits and giggles. Let's go ahead and down, redo the blockade of Genova. Oof, smart move. So they sent an infantry division into that hex that I really wanted to capture. So now we're going to focus on just reducing this guy and, and maintaining a defensive line in these two hexes. Hit him with the field gun, attack with some infantry. Let's attack with tanks. I think this guy just fortifies. Hmm, a little congested there. All right, so he's in quite a spot here. He can swap out these divisions, um, in which case, you know, buy him more time. But I think in the long run, that hex is mine. A little naval bombardment. Okay, so let's slowly bring up these cruisers to engage with the main Italian fleet. That's what I was afraid of. Let's go ahead and move these guys over here, keep them together. Alright. Don't want to engage at this point. Just kind of play def 
defensive over here. Let's get Cagliari giving us money. Uh, let's move the howitzer into the city. Let's put this infantry division there, just kind of on the lookout for any um, attempt to recapture Cagliari by sea. Um, and then I've got everyone else in the city ready to disembark. Disembark to embark in the next turn. Yeah, next turn. I'm confident. I'm going to clear a path. Okay, so this is my dogfighter, right? Yeah, dogfighter, dogfighter. Let's check, let's check. Uh, just created, what was it? I just finished a. I just built a D520. So the D520 is, yes, it's a dogfighter, plus 33% against air units. So as much as I would love to have another fighter defending uh, in northern France, I'm going to depend on my erstwhile ally, the Brits, to do that for me. And send this guy to Corsica to assist with my air superiority campaign against the Italians. All right, let's go ahead and hit the, what is that, a Panzer IV, a Panzer III, let's hit the Panzer, let's hit the Panzer IV, boom, how do you like that, you want to you wanna attack now, still, you want to attack, hmm, you want to leave my S35 alone for one turn, that'd be nice, hmm, okay, the field gun, I'm liking the field gun with the light tanks over here, so if I can, yeah, provide some flanking fire on this mech infantry, the Panzer Grenadiers. Okay, I have a reserve division now, which is nice. I'm going to fortify. Everyone else is just going to chill. Let's go ahead and put in a small attack. Yeah, that wasn't worth it. So let's just put you to sleep and stop doing that. Uh, I've got Reserve Infantry Division over here. The Ardennes forces look to be doing okay. As you know, doing okay. Uh, they pushed with the Panzer IV. Let's go ahead and push back. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Once I get some tactical bombers into the theater, um, gonna have an even easier time taking out their armor in this little kill zone. Is it worth attacking? Let's see. No, no, it's not. So let's never, never, never do that again. Matilda division holding strong. Okay, we're in the navy. Uh, let's. See. Hit there, Bismarck. Oh, the Bismarck, you dirty dog. This is the finest battleship on the high seas. However, what the Germans uh, gained in firepower with this one ship, they lost in breadth, combat width. So they could have built many cruisers for the cost of that one battleship. Boom, <laughs> hit the Bismarck. So even though I lost that battle, 3-5, it was worth it. <laughs> I'm a lot closer to home in allied ports to reinforce them. Not to mention any hit points on the Bismarck is worth doing. It's the Bismarck for crying out. Okay, I'm not seeing any action there. Let's go ahead and port. And just for a turn, heal up. Okay, we're going to leave you in Cagliari. And we'll take our turn there. They'll let them take their turn, rather.
Okay, definitely have some wait times here. Let me know in the comments if you've played this mod and if you have what nations you played as and what you thought of it. Um, I truly do enjoy it. I think it's one of the more interesting beer and pretzel World War II games, especially as a mod. I, I don't know, I just I find it very fun to play, easy to play, good times. Um, Definitely doesn't have the depth that even uh, like a, another beer and pretzel war game like Order of Battle um, has. But I, I guess I'd put it somewhere above, definitely above Panzer Corps, because you are, you know, this is a operational, a mix of operational, strategic, and tactical. Uh, when you're putting in your attacks, it's definitely tactical. When you're building your grand strategies, obviously it's strategic, and when you're choosing the productions of the cities and the, the projects and the designs and the units themselves that you're producing gets into the you know combination strategic operational which is interesting always enjoyed that so it's a nice mix I, it just it's a nice mix so I'm really excited that the, the mod makers have revived it uh, like I said in the past there's a link in the description if you're interested check it out um, so far it's playing really nicely really stable well balanced having a blast um, Sardinia, as well as attack convoys, so that's starting to spread them out a bit. Um, speaking of which, they broke the trade route with Cagliari. Look at that baby, we're getting another P25, lovely. Okay, the Russians it's developed. All right, we've got our settler fort. Yeah, let's go ahead and do open train now, because they do are adjacent to two open train hexes. Uh, while we're over here, let's hit the P4. Nice. Let's do more open train. Let's see, do I have any attack value with the infantry? Not really. Okay, let's send the D2 in. Nice. Very successful. Um, let's just fortify this infantry division. No more attacks along the Maginot for my infantry. Cease all infantry attacks. Cease all infantry attacks. Okay, let's go ahead and start this mini little counterattack to push the Panzer IV back. Hit him with the Z2 T3. Take our field gun. Hit that infantry in the flank. Everything else looks good here. My reserve division in the Ardennes is repairing and reinforcing nicely. Let's head down to Italy. Okay, they did not withdraw that division, which was a big tactical mistake that they hopefully will pay for in this turn. Let's hit them with the field gun, hit them with that infantry support fire. Let's put in a, an armor attack. And let's see, would this do it? No, it wouldn't. So we'll continue to fortify them. Hmm. Yeah, can't risk it at this point. Too much of a force build up here. So we'll keep them fortified, continue the attack with these two divisions. Um, hopefully get a third infantry division down there soon. Uh, I can buy one next turn. Let's stay in Italy. Okay, let's continue the strategic bombardment of Palermo and Catania. Nice, Oof, we hit that Fiat hard with our D520. That's going to prove to be a nice fighter for us, I think. Okay, no resistance there, so now we can attack. B17 against Palermo, B25 against Catania. Okay, so I can't disembark troops yet because there's just too much destroyer activity so what I'm going to do is I need to start chipping away at that so I'm going to temporarily leave these destroyers exposed outside Rome and go try to clear these destroyers the Italian fleet from Sardinia so I can disembark forces for Sicily all right let's go ahead and pull them into Cagliari for the turn to protect them Pull the destroyer there to just for a turn. 
Okay, cool. So now we've got battleship, two cruisers pushing back here in the Mediterranean. So Tunis is under attack. Malta is not. Let's see how we're doing. Our allies are doing. Not good is the answer. Okay, so glad I checked. I do have some forces I can help out with. So let's go ahead and send them to Ali Min. El Ali Min. Looks like I'm getting infantry here, so let's send the foreign legion as well to Ali Man. We'll make our last stand there, just like they did, the Brits did historically. That's where they turned the tides of war. Of course, that was against Rommel's Africa Corps, not these Italian units. However, they do outnumber us considerably. This cruiser's A-10 is about to get annihilated. This infantry division is at serious risk of getting surrounded. Hmm, it's going to be tough. At the very least, I think I can st help stop the Italians outside of Valley Men. I don't know if I can turn the tides. We'll see how many infantry divisions I can produce. Okay, we have repaired nicely. Let's go ahead and send them into battle. Let's send the Bismarck. Yeah, it's still the Bismarck. Let's focus our attacks on its escorts. Okay. Still chilling. Nothing going in the channel. Nothing going there. I think I can start to move them to the Cagliari in order to disembark over the next couple turns. And let's give them a turn. And while we do, we're going to go ahead and end it here, folks. Uh, Germany likely will continue their attacks. Italy likely will continue their futile attacks. And we'll see exactly what kind of damage that does to us in the next episode. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll see you next time.